today we're going to be finally doing something to the Red E30. Uh, if you guys have been with the channel for a little while then you've probably seen the car check on this car. Probably been wondering where it's at. So I've basically just been daily driving it, uh, putting some miles on it, making sure everything was good. Uh, with the gauges and everything that I switched out that you saw in one of the other videos. Uh, since there ain't really much work to be doing on this car at the moment, I've got something special for this car that I'm really excited about and I'll show that to you right now. So what I went and bought is I, there's a company by the name of Click Tuning and they make this awesome shifter for E30s and E36s and pretty much all BMWs alike. So we are going to go ahead and install this shifter in the car. Now what makes this shifter so nice, let's put you guys back up here and explain. What makes this shifter so nice is it has this sandwich plate right here and then your shift rod will hook in down here. So this takes place of that big arm that comes off the back of the E30 transmission that can cause them to have a lot of slop. Like I'll show you in just a second inside the car when we go to remove the stock one. So I'm really excited to get this in the car. Um, again, it's from Click Tuning. Uh, it's freaking real heavy. Feels great. It's adjustable. You can screw this jam nut down here. Screw this rod in or screw it out depending on how you want your shift how short or how long you want your shift uh, throw to be so we'll have to play with that a little bit once we get the old one out but for now we're going to go ahead and go inside the car here and we'll set this back in the box and uh there's some stickers and stuff that came with it too but anybody that has an e30 probably knows the struggle with the gear lever so that's first gear and it's just freaking it's in gear and it just it's still so sloppy and a lot of that I believe is to do with the linkage system that the uh, E30s and even the E36s have so I'm hoping that that new shifter is going to get rid of a lot of that play so we're going to go ahead and hop right into it here and uh, get this old shifter removed. First by removing the shift knob, which I don't know how much of a pain. I can't really. I'll switch you guys over here on the seat, I guess. So should just be able to come shift knob. off. I'm going to go ahead and pull the shift boot off, which we'll be reinstalling. And you got your little rubber guy. And in here, which looks like it's actually tied into that. So here's our rubber doodad. Get some So that's what it looks like with the uh, all the stuff off it. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove this and then pull the rest of it out. Okay, picking up where we left off, I uh, got underneath the car and removed the little D-clip. Uh, I'll show you guys that a little bit later because it's, it's sitting over there. And then I went ahead and I pulled the snap ring to pull the uh, shift selector, you know, the shift rod out, the, you know, the shifter. So now I just got to undo the bolt and then pull this whole unit out of the way. And we will be ready to install our new shifter. So we just gotta get back underneath the car. There's two, There's it just sits in like a, a little pin. I don't know if I can get under there and show you guys exactly what's going on. It's 
so if you look up in here, got my light. If you look up in here, you can see how that uh, I don't know if you can see that that rubber bushing up there. That's how that sits in. This here that's right next to my light is the selector rod for the transmission. So this bar is what we have to remove and this just sits in here, no big deal. It's just a little over bushing and then there's two bolts up top here that I'm hoping we can get to relatively easily. And then we'll pull that uh, bar out and we'll be ready to install our new shifter. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that out and then well, I'll give you guys an update. Well, that was a son of a bitch. Um, most other E30s I've had have not been like this. I don't know if it's just the ES model that is like this, or maybe it's just 1986. But this guy here is what holds your shift rod come down through to the shift selector. And it was an absolute son of a bitch to remove. But I got it out, so now this can get laid over here with our stock. We'll clean up our stock parts and we'll keep them in case anybody in the future wants to. But now we can install this bad boy because everything else is out of the way. And I will give you an idea of what it looks like in here now. So now you can see right down through that hole I gotta do something with this wire. I'm not sure what that wire does. But uh, see right down through that hole? This is our shift selector. Right there. In my hand. And that's all that's gonna hook up and then the, the shifter will get sandwiched between the uh, trans tunnel there. So, hardest part's done. Now it's just a matter of setting up the new shifter and reinstalling it. And I will show you how we're going to do that in just a moment. So what I have done is I removed the bottom plate of the hardware right there. And I have this guy ran down about an inch and we're gonna test it and see what it feels like. And we have some more wiggle room we can go down if we want or we can go up depending on how it feels in the car. So we're gonna go ahead and just, just mock it up right quick and uh, see what it's like. All right. Man, is that going to look cool? So. 
I think that's going to be about right, right where we want it. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten down this jam nut. And uh, then we can get everything ready to install. All right, jam nut is tight. Uh, we're going to go ahead and slide this other piece over the shift, of, uh, shift selector. And then we can set this in and install our shift shifter. Well, we're all done with the shifter install. It was a lot more of a pain in the ass process than I thought it was going to be. It may not be that bad on your E30 if you're looking into getting one. Uh, I would just suggest looking to see if you have this style or if you have the other thin rod style, which that's what I'm accustomed to seeing. So that's what I thought was in this one. But it is all installed. Looks good in there. Feels good. Let's see how short the throw is. Feels really good in there. I was hoping it was going to get rid of my side to side slop but it doesn't appear that it has. I think that's something to do with the actual shift lever itself. So I may have to look into getting an aftermarket one, which I'm not looking forward to because this one, this was kind of a pain in the ass to install. But man, is it gonna feel good shifting this car now? So, that's the uh, click tuning short shifter kit. I really like it. I think it turned out well. It's for the, the price. Uh, I don't think you're gonna find anything really better until you get you know high dollar like the CA shifters and stuff like that. But I wanted to keep it relatively nice, but not spending you know nine hundred dollars on a CA shifter or a, you know four hundred dollars on a knockoff. So I'm really happy with that. Um, gotta get the car back on the ground I'll do that in a minute but uh, don't forget to check the link down below for t-shirts to help support what we do on the channel and like comment subscribe down below and we will see you in the next one